Hello guys, Making Magic here. And first, I just wanna say thank you because we just hit 200 subscribers, and that's kind of a big deal for me. So what we're going to be doing today is, I've been thinking about this uh, some time because uh, you know it takes me uh, time to. Uh, to get an idea for a tutorial because there is plenty of tutorials out there and I want to do something special that hasn't been done yet. So I was thinking and I made this uh, COD or Call of Duty like uh, airstrike tutorial how to make it. So here I have a basic scene just to show you how it will this is the finished product, product looks like. So you have this red thing that can and if you press uh, left mouse button, it you can uh, plant a rocket. You can uh, you know uh, you can call on air support. And if you press the button, the, uh, this rocket is instantiated, and you can control it with um, with mouse. Uh, moves in the direction uh, in which mouse goes so if you, you, I press left mouse button I can control it with mouse just again so I hit the building and there is an explosion yes I'm just gonna hit the building and an explosion okay so yeah let me just clean the scene, what we won't need. So, uh, delete, we haven't in the left press control, I think not. I need this. And, um, not this one too. So, uh, yeah. Okay, this is, this, you don't need this. If you, if you want it, you can make it, but, okay, I'll just set it unactive for now. Okay? Now, uh, how we're gonna start is uh, just we're gonna uh, create a new scene or a project file, new scene or file, new project, and what we're gonna create is game object create empty. So uh, this is ob this object will instantiate, you know, it will where it is. It will instantiate our rocket. So it will plant the rocket wherever we want of course wherever you set it up it will plant it and then you'll be able to interact with this rocket so let me just plant it here so a bit more space and we're gonna name this one um, uh, I don't know something like rocket plant okay rocket plant game object terrific so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use this beautiful script, not so beautiful, a simple script called Airstrike that I made in, of course, in Mono Develop. Just open it up, and uh, whoa, I didn't close all the programs. Okay. So uh, in this script, it's a very simple script. Uh, variable rocket which are instantiated rocket variable controller uh, is uh, the game object. Uh, you know uh, that black thing that the our player had uh, to for the visuals basically. And if you press the left mouse button, so zero, uh, it will instantiate the rocket. That means it will uh, land rocket and it will keep the it will clip the position of the object and the rotation of the object and it, it will call the this function in the this function it will deactivate the rocket and the controller so that means uh, the game object and the controller so that means that it will deactivate the, contr the controller so our black thing you, as you saw and this game object that has the script on so yeah that's for this script we just wanna flat it over here where is it? Yes, play. 
here it is. Uh, so, okay. Next thing we want to do is uh, we want to uh, you you have to download the package that I'll be including that has the rocket and all the things that we need. So what you want to do is you want to set up the rocket. So the rocket prefab is over where is it? Over here. So you just want to drag the rocket prefab onto the transform. So under the rocket we have a few scripts. Uh, let me just quickly explain. This script is only for to uh, instantiate the explosion, our explosion particle, and uh, to uh, yes, basically only to instantiate the explosion particle and to destroy the rocket. That's it, and that's uh, done when it enters the collision. So uh, the collision of a uh, object that has collision, basically, <laughs> yes. And the M rocket. This is the this is the main script, so I'll explain this one because it's quite important if you want to use it in uh, other projects. So variable RB is a rigid body. We we'll have to apply the rigid body of that rocket on here. So variable speed Y is the speed on the Y direction, so up and down. And variable speed Z is, uh, you know, left and right. So RB gets component rigid body, that means it will get the variable RB will get the rigid body of this object and if input get axis mouse x is lower than zero this means if we we'll move our mouse in the left direction uh, it will uh, first it will print it will say tell, tell, tell us that we move the mouse left and it will basically move the object to the left if you want to say it and this is this is this will move to the right because it's greater than zero this is for the up and this is for down okay so let me just close this up I know it's a crappy explanation but you know I don't have much time so we did that and um, controller is our radio cone so if you wanna use your own controller what you can do is you can add, you know, create 3d game object cube and just apply it onto the first person character and then apply it as the controller onto the controller here or you can create your own model if you want to I'll just use this one this is the script doesn't even need this this is just to disable something to, to, to add a bit of a visual actually. so what we wanna do next is uh, that's actually basically it you know that's it but let me just explain quickly what we have here we have a camera with applied a uh, plane on it to create a bit of a visual like a camera you know basic camera and uh, we have um, we have motion blur onto our camera and grayscale to make it look a bit like a, a cheap camera or a bit more resistant camera and uh, yeah, that's basically it. We have on we have a, a particles system over here. Is what is explosion? It's called. As you can see, let me just stop seeing it. Yeah, I know. I made it in a few minutes, so it's not that bad. Uh, I needed a big explosion, so this is quite okay. And on this explosion, we also have the grenade FX uh, to play the sound. Uh, you know the audio source. So now, if I play, it should work. The only problem is that when I press it, it will be facing upward. Uh, it will be facing upward. So what we want to do is rocket plant and rotation. Change it to one, minus 180. We we'll just want to change this rotation the rocket plant to minus 180. Note that if it won't work, it's because of that. So now it should work, and you can move it. And I'll just hit those two, three buildings and. Bam! I just bombed them. So yeah, that's a basic airstrike tutorial COD. Like uh, airstrike tutorial. If you liked it, please uh, rate uh, this video. Also comment and subscribe. And also uh, have a, a good time.